Hi, um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, an honor, really. And this is, uh, I think, my fourth time here. Um, and the objective today is to introduce you to Cosmos, if you don't know what it is already, um, and uh, to convince you that Cosmos is something you should, you should take a look at it when deciding what technology you want to use to build your blockchain. Um, and also to introduce you to the, the things that are coming uh, soon. Uh, uh, see. So, I started as a software programmer. Um, I've been uh, developing software for uh, over a decade in the Bay Area in San Francisco. And around 2013, uh, I, I got very interested in Bitcoin and decided to commit my career to it because I fundamentally believe in DeFi and decentralized uh, financial technology. Uh, nowadays, uh, I see that that was a very fortunate decision because not only uh, are we in a good position to help mold the future of uh, finance, but also because it puts us in a very good position to solve uh, some of the major problems in the world. But enough of that. Uh, let's uh, show you a video uh, that kind of introduces what Cosmos is about. Can you take a video from this? The Cosmos SDK is the tool that gives developers the ability to create software blockchains with plug-and-play modules to ultimately launch their very own token economies. An example blockchain built with this SDK is the Cosmos Hub. The Cosmos Hub features the latest generation of technology, BFT consensus, proof of stake, and on-chain governance. The Cosmos SDK gives your blockchain the ability to connect to other sovereign blockchain applications through IBC. Using these tools, new blockchain applications can be built at record speed, connecting and transferring data and assets with each other for the first time in history. With Cosmos, blockchain technology has the power to revolutionize open finance, prediction markets, cross-border payments, healthcare, real estate, and more. Contribute to the Cosmos vision for a world of explosive economic growth through the power of connected blockchains. Cosmos, the internet of blockchains. Thank you. So what Cosmos is, is it's about connecting sovereign blockchains together. It's about allowing blockchains to securely communicate with each other using a protocol very similar to TCPIP. Uh, TCPIP is a sequential packet communication protocol. Um, but what Cosmos and our technology allows you to do, and the protocols that we're developing allow you to do, is to create blockchains and securely communicate. This allows you to uh, solve the scalability problems, for example. It allows you to transfer your tokens from one blockchain to another by uh, via two-way pegging. And in this way, by having many parallel chains that are coordinated by a common chain, such as the Cosmos Hub, you can solve scalability and interoperability. So maybe the, the best way to summarize what we do is that we are creating the infrastructure for a global uh, token economy. And I want to show you uh, where we are at, our progress so far, and, and what's to come. Okay, so what we've been doing, we started in 2014. Um, Tendermint is a consensus algorithm. Um, I started um, developing Tendermint in 2014 primarily because uh, and I saw that Bitcoin work would be uh, very expensive um, and that uh, the, the environmental impact would be uh, very significant and that the ROI for mining would not be so great. And if, for us to have a scalable blockchain uh, ecosystem, we need something uh, that is more than just proof of work. Although I, I believe that proof of work is important. So it turns out that BFT algorithms have been in, in, in research. Uh, so Consensus algorithms that don't require proof of work have been in research ever since the 70s. Um, and, and what Tenetic is, is it's the first uh, consensus engine that excuse me, brings uh, the, uh, the, the consensus research from the 70s and 80s funded by, uh, by, by governments um, and, and brings it to the blockchain context. Um, and on top of this BFT layer, uh, you can create uh, public proof of stake chains, but of course we can also create permission blockchains as well. And uh, it's actually the, uh, uh, 
the inspiration for a lot of the new consensus algorithms as well. So like Facebook Libra's Costa algorithm was it was actually inspired by Peppermint and there are other consensus algorithms that are inspired by Peppermint. And, and that's because it was the first one. Um, not only is it, was it the first, it's actually really well designed. So I'll show you some slides later about the progress of the DOSH that's quite significant. And then in 2016, um, after having created Tendermint, we realized that the primary challenge in the blockchain space is actually scalability uh, of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Because you know, cryptocurrencies, uh, cryptocurrencies is the primary use case uh, still so far, and probably will be for a while, but the scaling problem had not been solved yet. Of course, there's Lightning Network, but that requires capital lockup costs, so it's not clear exactly how much cost we get. We believe that Lightning is important and an integral part of the future, but you also need to coordinate, you know, you need to have multiple parallel blockchains coordinated by, like IPC. Uh, so actually in 2016, uh, we, uh, yeah, I was here uh, and, and we wanted to work. And then the following year, in 2017, we conducted a fundraiser and then uh, for Cosmos. And then in 2018, we had a test net. Um, this was the first incentivized um, massive BFT uh, test net. We had over 200 uh, unique users around the world participating. It was the first um, uh, BFT blockchain, but so many users where, where these people were just you know, public uh, strangers that are coming together to test this thing. So that was the Game of Stakes test net. And then soon after, we launched the Cosmos Hub in 2019, so early this year. So March, so it's only, it hasn't even been a year yet. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna tell you about why we should care. You know, why do people care about what we do? You know, and here's some you know, social traction points. Right? One is, the proof of stake is getting more adoption, getting more mind share. Um, and, and Cosmos and Tendermint is at the forefront of it. Um, so not only this year is this is sort of more proof of stake um, Coins and, and more uh, assets under management, but you know, we predict that next year and the year after we're going to see significantly more assets under management. And I'll show you some of the projects we're building on Cosmos and Tendermint. Um, but you know, this is this is proof, uh, one proof that uh, we're on the right track. Uh, but I think this is the most interesting slide. Like of the new blockchains that are being created, the proof of stake blockchains. 40% uh, are actually powered by Tendermint. So uh, I'm talking about uh, consensus algorithms like Tendermint, but also specifically our, our software, Tendermint Core. So we're on the right track to creating a network effect of blockchains that are powered by BFT consensus algorithms, um, including Tendermint. And so you can see where this is headed, right? Um, the Cosmos Hub is meant to be a blockchain that connects to many other blockchains. The Cosmos Hub is, uh, it exists, it's live, uh, it's a proof of stake, multi-asset blockchain, it's got on-chain governance, and I'll tell you more about the, the validators that are running this. But the purpose of the Cosmos Hub is to connect to many other sovereign blockchains. And, and the, the figure here, what I'm showing you, is that many people are creating their own sovereign blockchain with their own validator set, using our software with the intention of connecting those blockchains, we call them zones, to the Cosmos Hub, such that they can be part of this uh, scaling solution. The validator set for Cosmos is amazing. Um, so if, you, if you're wondering, uh, okay, if proof of stake is going to be as significant as proof of work, um, then you, know, you, you should probably so you see a community as vibrant as the proof of work the mining community. Right? There are uh, new mining pools, over 20, um, and, and just as much, uh, a lots of mining uh, enthusiasts. Well, they exist, um, and they're primarily uh, coordinating around the Cosmos Hub. There's currently 100 validators, um, and you might think that 100 is a small number, but it's, you need to compare that to the number of mining pools, because in, on the Cosmos Hub, any staking token holder can delegate. So we can support many, many delegators who are selecting delegating which uh, validators they want to, uh, to stake to. 
Um, and you see that uh, we have validator businesses, quality providers, proof of work mining pools, uh, like, like Stakefish, uh, which comes from Bitfish, um, and uh, developers and so on, uh, and, and funds. So we have a very vibrant community. Um, number of validators is about to go up to 125, so we're going to keep increasing that number. Um, but 100 is, is sufficient for now. What you see is that because we have, uh, because of the way the growth economics works, uh, and, and, and the, because of the, uh, the, uh, the progress we've made uh, and the, the strength of the community, new projects that are launching their own chain are coming to the Cosmos Health Validator sector to, uh, to prove validators for thermal blockchain. So that's, that's a new thing that's happening. Um, it's going to become uh, more streamlined in the future with things like shared security over IBC. We'll talk about that for today. There's over a hundred projects building on Cosmos and you know, turning into Cosmos. And so these are the projects that are building their own blockchain, like I mentioned, are going to connect to Cosmos also. The Binance index chain is built on the Cosmos SDK. I mean, that's a pretty good proof right there. Um, and since we're in China, there's also IrisNet. The IrisNet is building on Cosmos SDK. And uh, we have like real blockchains with real users, like the DLive chain, with over a million users actually using our technology to power our blockchains. Uh, and, and this keeps growing. So we have, we're building a network effect already. Um, there's significant activity on the Cosmos SDK on GitHub. It's open source, um, it's one of the top um, blockchain projects. So uh, please take a look. Um, the, maybe the best way to describe the SDK is uh, it, it's like, like like Ruby on Rails or Django, but for blockchain development. It's uh, it's a base layer. It's written in Go uh, for you to program your own blockchain in. And uh, I'll show you later, but we're also developing modules so that you can run smart contracts, like uh, significantly smart contracts and WASM contracts as well, on top of the blockchain written by the SDK. So it's a very flexible platform. Um, there's a lot of progress already on the Cosmos Hub. So, you know, we launched the Cosmos Hub with uh, and we enabled transfers, fixed a lot of bugs. Um, recently, there's been more uh, big factors and improvements. Um, so, and, and there's about to be a Cosmos Hub upgrade, a major one. And then, uh, the, we're also already working on many other things. The most important thing is IPC, so I'll be talking about that, but, uh, yeah. And it's not just the software, um, the ecosystem is also growing as well. So the Interchange Foundation is the foundation, it's based on Switzerland, model after the Ethereum Foundation that conducted a fundraiser. Um, and, uh, you know, we really believe in, in decentralization and modularity. So what we care about is creating good protocols and good design. Not only uh, can you, you, know, you use the top of to develop your blockchain in Go, but we're developing other SDKs in different languages too, because we already designed Tendermint to be agnostic, to be able to plug into a new state machine. Uh, so for example, Phone, Kadena collaborated to create a, a Haskell SDK, um, and there are many other implementations of Tendermint which are going to be ABC compatible. Um, and we have great plans in the future for you know, uh, making everything more secure. We really care about proper protocol design and security, uh, like, uh, like every three projects we All right, so what's funny? Um, let's take a look at what's coming. What I care most about, and I think what's most important, to what our community is waiting for, uh, is IBC. Um, so the best way to describe IBC is, uh, and how it works, is um, it's, when, you're, when you have a phone, like a light client, um, there's a way for your phone to be able to very quickly verify something about a blockchain, even though it's communicating with like an insecure internet. The way you do that is first you prove the block hash, you, know, you prove that the most recent block hash of blockchain is something, and you can do that quickly, unlike you know, the preferred chain, because of just the nature of, of how uh, of the EFT algorithms work, like Tendermint. In fact, Tendermint was designed uh, initially to make light client security very good. And it just so happens that that is the magic sauce that allows for an inter-blockchain communication because you can turn a blockchain into a light client of another blockchain. Um, we're collaborating with uh, multiple projects in the space, uh, for example, uh, with Agoric, 
Um, so Forward is working on a secure ECMAScript uh, system. Um, and, and the founder is, is one of the early um, uh, uh, thought leaders of smart contracts from uh, decades ago. And uh, they're now building, uh, actually fulfilling the, the, the mission that they set out to do and, and working with us to design IBC. Uh, Binance is also working with us. So this is a collaborative project. Um, uh, and it's probably going to be um, the dominant IBC technology. So that's very exciting. And there's already a few things happening, uh, in Europe, which is including Rust. Um, so I kind of described that just now, sort of how uh, IBC works. But just to reiterate, it's, uh, it's, an inter it's a cross-blockchain communication protocol. So you have, on the one hand, you have blockchain A, and then you have blockchain B. These are two independent blockchains with you know, independent validator sets. And you, what we're doing is you're using a relayer to, uh, to submit transactions onto chain B, uh, proving to chain B that something is happening on chain A, namely that chain A wants to send chain, send chain B some packets. And using this as a base protocol, this layer, uh, you can build additional things on top. So the Cosmos Hub is going to use IBC uh, for uh, token pegging and token transfers uh, in, in the likeness of, uh, of, uh, of, of side chains and blockchain side chains capability, uh, token pegging. Um, but we're designing our protocol so that it's agnostic and you can use it to do all kinds of things, and not just uh, uh, token transfers, but even smart contract uh, calls. So we're also collaborating with the uh, 2.0 teams to, uh, to, to help them with their IBC. Um, so the spec is, 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 is complete uh, and we're starting to implement it and then we're going to have a test net kind of like how we had in the States called that Game of Zones, so uh, look out for that. And then after that we'll launch IBC on the Cosmos Hub with, uh, with an upgrade and, the, and then the uh, network effect will start. And uh, another thing we're working on is uh, IBC is good for uh, communication between two fast finality chains, like two tenement chains. But like, if you want to communicate with a uh, with, uh, proof of work chain, like mainnet Ethereum, then you need something slightly different um, because we want to keep IBC uh, about fast finality. Um, so we're developing PEGI uh, such that you can peg your, uh, e uh, your ERC20 tokens uh, onto the Cosmos ecosystem as well. And we're making good progress there. It's already a new direction home, Peggy, but uh, as soon as we'll have a bike direction one, and uh, they will be able to use uh, ERC3 like this in the past. Um, another way to uh, get, bring Ethereum up to Cosmos is by something like Ethernet, where uh, you can actually run solidity contracts on uh, blockchain created on the Cosmos SDK. Um, and so, like I mentioned, the Cosmos SDK is a generic framework for developing applications, blockchain applications, but some of the modules that will be available are things like the EVM modules you can run some on, uh, on its own, kind of Cosmos Hub. So in that sense, you can scale the Ethereum uh, smart contract functionality. Um, and we're working with Chainsafe, uh, uh, and they're building, and they have built an Ethereum version, but uh, we're going to have a 2.0 implementation soon for the test that and so on. Um, and we'll do the same thing for a lawsuit uh, as well. Um, okay, and another thing that's coming up, uh, we're very excited about, is we're uh, contributing to the DeFi Hackathon happening in San Francisco, uh, November 1st or 3rd. So uh, please come join us if you want to hack on this tech and, and start building um, some cool IBC blockchain applications. Um, there's going to be all kinds of prizes and bounties, so I'm uh, looking forward to you there. Um, please take a look at that QR code or go to hackathon.sfblockchainweek.io. Um, and we're going to have a meetup, so go to meetup.com slash cosmos shanghai. Um, just a week ago, we had our first inaugural uh, meetup, Cosmos Meetup in Singapore. So uh, here's the Cosmos Meetup in Shanghai. Um, and I hope to uh, find you there. And uh, you know, one of the things that we've been hearing uh, in China is that uh, we're, we're quite understated, that there's not enough um, activity specifically from the part of our community of Cosmos. But we're about to change that. So uh, please uh, get in touch with us. Um, and here's the website. Um, please uh, visit our website and contact us. 
it's, uh, it's, it's about to become very exciting because IBC is the crux of all of this. It's, it's where um, the network of that spreads really gain uh, steam. And uh, we're going to uh, double down our efforts in expanding our community internationally now that a lot of software is done. Um, so please get in touch with us. Um, we want to uh, work with you and explain what we're all about. Um, thank you very much.